Hey guys, Sony here. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to show you how to increase your performance of your Windows 8 PC or laptop or netbook or whatever you've got or netbook or whatever. So um, let's head straight in and um, go to a go to task manager, which is where you need to head to first. And um, you want to head up to you want to go to startup, and you want to disable all the unnecessary applications that um, you don't need. Like for example, this uh, I disabled it because all it does is like a like a, a program where I just like basically print screen. And DVD, I don't use it, so you know I disabled it and Java Web Data and Skype. You, you don't need that boot up because you can just double click it. And yeah, that's a lot easier. So that's that. That should increase your performance quite a bit. Um, the next one is to always update your Windows 8 PC. Now, a lot of people don't update because they think, oh, give me like a virus, it will slow my computer down. But in actual fact, it really doesn't. It just increases your performance. Now, um, to update your PC, you may not, well, I'm sure you know how to do it, but if you don't, I'll show you anyway. You can just go here and you click on control panel and you head on over to uh, system and security. Then Windows updates will check for updates and then it will start checking for updates and um, it will come up saying if you have any updates. Um, yeah, I have already installed all my updates, but for you, you may say like uh, 25 optional updates and like 12 important updates. You don't have to install the optional updates, but it's pretty handy to have. Um, but it's not necessary. But the important updates are vital because you know Windows may not work properly or may be more uh, prone to getting a virus or something. So yeah, that does kind of increase your performance. If you install the updates, but not by big deal. So the next one is slightly more advanced. Um, not too, not too bad. It's quite easy, but um, you know, slightly difficult. So what we do here is we go to your charms bar up here, hit search, and type in services. Now, if we click this, view local services. And you want to find um, Windows Search. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Now I've already got mine disabled, but for you it will be um, it will be enabled. So what you do is you right click it, go to Properties, and then here it will be yeah it will be automatic delayed start. So you just click Disabled, Apply. So if it's load, OK, then that's it. Now uh, I'll give you a brief, you may want to know what this is, well Windows Search is basically, um, well, let's give you an example, um, is this, this is Windows Search, like you, you search for anything on your computer, now, I don't use this at all, I mean if you use it, if you use this a lot then um, I'd advise you to skip this step, um, because it will slow that down, but it does increase your, uh, it will increase your overall performance of Windows 8. Um, this oh this will work by the way on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Uh, I'm using 8.1 because why not? Um, it's an update and it makes it quicker, kind of. I don't know. I think it just has more features. Uh, but anyway, that's not the point. Um, the point is that if you use it, don't turn the service off. If you don't use it, then you can turn it off. Uh, it's safe. So the next thing you can do is um, go to you, oh yeah you can download a program called C Cleaner. Now C Cleaner um, go to the folder. C Cleaner is a program that gets rid of all the junk on your computer, like temporary internet files or cookies, your history, or whatever it is. And uh, just gets gets rid of all the garbage on your computer. So um, you can copy my layout if you want, 
um, you can do your own, it's not really bothered. Um, this will not damage your computer in any way or form, but I would highly suggest you do not, don't click these. Um, I'm not too sure what these are, but I wouldn't click them because I think it like, it takes a long time and it does send to your computer. You can do it if you want to check it out, but I'm not going to do it because, you know, I don't want that broken computer. So after you've clicked it all, just press analyze. Uh, you'll see how many megabytes need to be removed. So about 3.10 megabytes, which isn't bad at all. Then, ju then just hit uh, run cleaner. And it'll clean all that up for you. Then it should close. And yeah, that's done. Let's remove that. So yeah, that's C Cleaner. I'll leave the link to the program in the description of the video. <clears throat> so the next thing that will um, increase your speed of when your computer is to disable all the fancy animations. Um, I don't personally disable them all, but um, I disable quite a few. So what you do is you head on over to not here, sorry, wrong place. You right click down here and you go to system. Then you go to advanced system settings. And then you hit settings again under performance. And for you it'll be it'll be this option, let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Now um what I'll do is I'll press adjust for best performance and then just tick the ones you want. Now again you can copy my um, layout if you want. Um, this makes the desktop look a bit nicer because I want some, you know, I don't, I don't want it to look like Windows 95 because that looks rubbish. I mean, you know, if you have a really slow computer, like um, let's say you have one gig of RAM, then I would highly suggest uh, pressing this. If you got um, two gigabytes or higher, then I think you'll be okay. Um, I mean, most laptops and computers nowadays nowadays have a lot more than one gigabyte of RAM. But if you do, then just hit this and you'll be good to go. Now uh, that's done. So the next one, the next option, is to um, get a defragger. The defragger. Now, um, yeah, I would also leave this in the description. Now, what this does is defrag your system. Um, it's, yeah, oh, I don't know. so what it does, it moves everything you don't use into, like, a part of your system. I don't really know how this works, but it really does speed up your PC. Um, you know, I've done this recently. Um, I can't really show you to it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I can't really show it to you now because it'll take a long time. Um, it take it can take hours. So obviously, you don't want to watch a video for hours just to watch this defrag. But um, yeah, this is a very good defragger, possibly the best out there. And as always, I'll leave the link to this program in the description. Now, um, another thing you can do to increase your performance is to, um, I personally don't do this, but if you're not a big fan of Internet Explorer, um, you can get um, Google Chrome or Firefox, those two I, I recommend. Um, I wouldn't go for Safari or Opera. I mean, you may, you may uh, prefer them, I don't know, but yeah, I'm just not very good. Um, you can use them. They don't really increase your performance of the computer, but it does work slightly better than Internet Explorer. But I just use it because you know it's there and it does the job. So um, I have one more program that you can use, and that is Malwarebytes. Now this is not to increase your PC performance. This is mainly as a very good antivirus. Um, Malwarebytes is a very, very good malware cleaner. Um, it is very good at getting rid of malware. 
but which I just said three times, I think, but anyway, doesn't matter. And, um, you know, it's the best out there. Um, so, what you want to do, wait, when you download this, um, you may want to update it because it could be, you know, um, outdated. Anyone update it? And um, yeah, I got premium. I'd really hi highly suggest getting premium. Um, obviously, you're gonna have to pay, but um, there is a way to get it for free. And in the next video, that's exactly what I'll be doing, showing you how to get this for free. Now, um, all you do here is uh, just just scan, just put scan and this, just scan now. Now again, it may take a little while, so yeah, I don't need to show you it. Um, um, you can do a custom scan, which you can click your whole drive. Like I don't know what drive you have, is it C? You, um, most computers have C, like RC, C drives. So yeah, you just hit start scan and it will start scanning. Um, oh, another option is to scan for root kits, which is basically um, very, like uh, really bad viruses that are deep inside your computer. Um, so there, that is it. Um, for that program. Now, I know I said this is the last one, but one more you may want is Komodo, um, Komodo Firewall. Now, this is a free firewall. Um, it's one of the best firewalls out there. Um, it, again, it doesn't really increase your performance, but it increases your, um, well, decreases your chance of getting a virus. Um, or spyware or um, any other bad bad stuff out there. Now um, that's about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember to hit hit the like button and comment if you if you liked. And um, well, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. Hope you enjoyed.